Hey guys, and happy Saturday. So I wanted to hop on and share with you a long overdue Rose Girls pre-order RTS. I don't even know. I think I might've even pulled some of it out of the box and used some. I don't even know if they're all in here, but I wanted to share with you some of the things that I picked up and I am just so behind on videos. I have a sassy girl haul from like October all the way on. It's huge. It's probably going to be over an hour to, to film. I have friend mail I need to film. And then I just got a new to me vendor box delivered today, which I really want to get up and record as well. But um, I'm sick. Um, my daughter's been sick almost, it seems like the whole month of December and, um, I, my son is just hit, is getting hit the worst since he's so young. So it's been long nights, um, this really bad cough and it's apparently a new virus or some kind of virus that lasts for a really long time. So I apologize in advance. If as we're going through this, I happen to cough. I have my hot coffee here. I switched from not like getting teed out um, to help with my throat and we're gonna go through this. So I'll quit rambling since we're already a minute in and I'll share with you what I purchased. So I didn't go too crazy because I have two drawers because I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure other than Southbound and Harper James, Rose Girls was kind of in the top when I started my vendor journey last fall. And so I have so much. And what I say every time, and I keep doing it every time I go in, is I'm only going to get scents that I know. I'm not going to try anything. I'm not going to get these big bags because if I don't like it, then I'm like stuck with it. So what I did do differently this time is if I already have a bag of the mini melters, I didn't want to get a second bag, so I got, she was having, the, making these snowflakes. So I got a snowflake instead, so I didn't have two bags of mini melters, since it takes quite a bit of time to get through a mini melter bag. And so for 2024, and I haven't watched it yet, but Martha just posted a video about what her plans are for 2024 and looking ahead. 2024, I really need to get busy melting. I have way too much wax. As I say this, I just bought some more, but I really need to just focus on going through a lot of my Rose Girls, and I probably shouldn't purchase anymore. I did, however, just purchase from her pre-order, but I did it for my sister, who is completely obsessed with this one scent that I asked her to bring back. And I don't even think she just brought it back for me, but she brought it back. It's called Midnight Society. It's got lavender, I think it's sweet lavender, Palo Santo, and vanilla bean Noel. Don't hold me to it. Um, but I'm just not a fan of Rose Girls Palo. So I think that's what kind of threw me off. Uh, Jenny's kind of leans more cologne more masculine. So if you like that type of Palo, um, then that's just kind of what I get out of her Palo Solo. Palo Solo. Palo Santo blends. So I ordered three bags um, and that will be going towards my sister. Um, I also did take advantage of her RTS and I got my sister some tree scents because she's trying to find a Yankee dupe for a balsam and cedar. She loves that candle. And so I just went on, got hog wild with um, all the tree scents. So anyway. All right, so I'll start with what I think I got in the pre-order because I think this is what she offered in her pre-order. And the first one here is kind of a new to me scent. I had it mixed with other things, but I liked it. So I just got it alone. And this is Jumping on Three Clouds. And I'm starting to lose the light, guys, so I apologize. This is Birthday Cake, cake Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Yellow Cake, Vanilla Crunch Donuts, Marshmallow, Monster Cookie, Cup of Cake, and Cotton Candy. So it's... I think the three cakes blend, I think. I've never had the three cakes blend. And this is good because I don't get a lot of Cupcake at Tiffany's. I do not like Jenny's Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I really like Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I don't know if it's a chocolate note or a toffee note or something in it. I'm just not a fan of Cupcakes at Tiffany's. It just, 
I don't, I don't, it's kind of off putting for me in one warm. With the exception of Harper James. Harper James, I still have half a brick or brittle or snap bar, I think is what she's called. So on this, you get the cake, you get the birthday cake and the yellow cake, you get her monster cookie. It, it's a sweet cake blend. So you definitely have to like bakery. You definitely have to like birthday cake of hers. Um, but I actually really like this. Um, I wish I kind of got a mini melter bag, but again, I was kind of apprehensive and I figured, you know, let me just try this. And I already have, I think it's jumping on the clouds something pumpkin and so it was like I, I didn't want a whole another bag so this is really good I'll enjoy this again I'm not a fan of chopping wax but that is jumping on three clouds and I think again it's like the three cakes blend all right this is a repeat for me I have a bag of mini melters here I actually warmed it on Christmas Eve um, it's a really good blend this is Christmas Eve and cookie land this is eggnog, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, and donut holes. And if anybody knows me, you know that I love her monster cookie. I like her monster cookie fluff puffs. So I'm going to take this out because this is really, really pretty. And her design on these were so cute. So really nice, pretty snowflake. And this is really good. I mean, it's still, you get the egg, sweet eggnog, but it's not too overly sweet. So if you're kind of afraid of eggnog blends, give this one a try because it's really not overpowering. It's really nice with that sugar cookie, the monster cookie and the donut holes kind of gives it like this cakey note and it's just a really good blend. So highly recommend this one. Um, and I'm glad that I picked up a snowflake in that because I don't even know if I made a dent in the bag um, for Christmas Eve. All right, another one that I'm obsessed with, and I have two bags of mini melters, so I just got a snowflake, and this is Koopa's Christmas Carols, and I think I actually went through the bag already. I'm, I, it might be in my empties. I don't know, and this one is soft pine, sugar cookies, snow powder, mint, and campfire marshmallow, and so this one I often compare to Swamp's. Um, this one is a little more minty. So if you do not like mint, don't get this one. You definitely have to like her. Jenny's peppermint takes over a lot of blends in my opinion. So this one, you definitely get the pine, the soft pine. You get a mint, you get some sort of snow powder. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's what's enhancing the mint. And to cream it out, you kind of get that marshmallow. Here, how pretty that is. Um, but like I said, it's a really nice, refreshing. This one I like because you, when you're kind of done with like your tree scents and your cinnamon scents and all those scents around the holidays, this is really nice to kind of switch over and kind of start warming now to like January, February time frame. And so this one is really good, but I do compare it with, um, I did get a bag of swamps. And this one is pine peppermint, not just mint, sugar cookie dough and campfire marshmallow. And this is just such a good blend. I mean, this is like, this is such a good blend. Now this new bag actually smells more pine. Um, and I have an older bag on the other side of my computer that I've been warming. You get more of that cookie dough, that creamy kind of marshmallow. This one, I definitely get more pine. So let me check out. Oh, it's so good though. When it warms, it just, it's such a good one. So, but again, you have to like pine. Um, if you're nervous about it, I still think you should try it because when it warms, you get that light tree, almost kind of like Christmas trees and cream. Um, so don't be scared of the pine in it, but this one is definitely more mint. So these two are pretty comparable, but this is like my favorite other than, what the heck is the other blend? Is it Wicked Plumbers? I didn't get any more of it because as much as I like the Wicked Plumbers one, I have, I think I still have some left. It has the cheesecake in it, I think. It's like lemon and some other thing. It's very light. So you really have to go all in with that bag of Wicked Plumbers. There's a lot of bakery in it, but it's very light when you're warming it. So you kind of have to use more of the cubes. Usually I typically do two cubes for the warmers. So anyway. 
I used up, I was like, this is project use up. I used the whole bag from last year, a very merry, merry, a very Mario Thanksgiving. So I got another bag for Thanksgiving for next year. And this is sweet potato, royal sugar cookie, pine crust, caramelized pralines, sweet pumpkin pie, and a sprinkle of marshmallow. Now, if nuts scare you, which they typically do for me, or sweet potato, or any of those notes, this is just such, I'll show you again, this is just such a creamy, sweet, oh, this is so good. You get the pie crust, her pie crust, Jenny nails her pie crust. This is so good. You get that caramelized praline, you get that sweet pumpkin pie, you get that sweet potato. This is another one of her good blends. I'm so glad I picked another bag up for next year's Thanksgiving. But yeah, I used it all up on Thanksgiving. I only had a little bit because I used some last Thanksgiving and then I finished up the bag this year. So I grabbed another bag of this. And again, I'm not going crazy. I was like, do I get two bags? I was like, no, I'll get one. Then I grabbed another bag and everyone's been gifting it to me. So thank you. This is so good. This is Autumn Mountain. I think I also used up a bag that Martha sent. This is Cider Lane, Dunk My Donut, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Her Cider Lane, this, oh my God, this is so good. This is the Screams Fall, and I'm going to lose light, so I'm going to go fast. This is just the Cider Lane, sweet, sweet pumpkin pecan waffles, but it's not that strong if you're scared of pecan waffles. The Cider Lane does take over this blend. So you definitely have to like Cider Lane to get this blend. So if you're scared of Cider Lane, then don't get it. But this one is a good fall staple. So I picked up another bag for next year. And then this was the kind of wilds card. I wouldn't even say wilds card, but I was like, I'm not going to get 20 million bags of ones that I've never had before. But when I saw this, I was like, I have to try this. And this is Banshee Boardwalk or ban yeah banshee banshee this is s'mores salty sea air marshmallow and sea salt or beach nights type and i've never had jenny's beach nights oh my god so i hope i don't get i was watching tara i'm like i hope i don't get sick of beach nights too because she said the same thing i'm like if i get tired of beach nights i have a crap ton of beach nights from a lot of vendors i have a lot from Teddy B's, which is our beach treats. I have Knowles Farm Sense beach, beach Nights. I have a Beach Nights from Cam Jack Wax, now Rose Girls. I even think I have some from Dessa. Oh, this is so good. You get the s'mores, like a creamy note, the salty sea air, or maybe it's even the marshmallow, like almost kind of like a marshmallow boardwalk. Oh, this is so good. So I got this more for like starting to switch over to the spring, but this is good. I'm glad I grabbed a bag of that to try. So that's it guys. That is pretty much um, my, I got another bag. So yeah, I grabbed another bag of swans in the RTS. Um, and then I grabbed some Christmas tree scents for my sister, which I don't have anymore. I gave them to her for Christmas. So I think it was, oh, Christmas tree uh, sleigh bells and they were heavy tree like spruce and balsam and fir and you really have to like tree scents in order to like that so I'm sorry guys I'm starting to lose my light the camera's starting to go a little wonky so I will quit rambling but I wanted to share with you my rose girls haul and tell you what I picked up so thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one talk to you soon